Good day. Well, we're here with the Jensen 20, and what I hope to do is start some uh, actual power experiments with the generators. I have a apparatus set up here. This multimeter will be measuring our amperage. This one will be measuring our voltage. I have a 1k ohm 10 turn potentiometer here. And what I will be doing is starting it at 1k and slowly winding down the resistance and uh, seeing how the amperage is affected and at which point the uh, engine stalls. So we're just getting up some steam here and I'll be back uh, as soon as we're running. Okay, here we go. We're at full operating pressure. We are driving the generator with the full wave bridge rectifier circuit in it. And we're right now measuring 13 volts and about 13 milliamps. And our potentiometer is at a full 1000K. So let's increase the engine to its full operating speed. We've got about 19 volts and almost 19 milliamps. Now I'm going to slowly start dialing the resistor down. It takes 10 turns to get down to zero, so this will take a few moments. About at 25 milliamps, 17 volts. Engine is slowing down just a little bit. Fifty five milliamps and ten volts. Seventy three milliamps at almost four volts. The potentiometer is now at zero resistance. So we're measuring zero voltage because we have a, the equivalent of a dead short circuit across the, uh, the rheostat. And we are cracking 79 milliamps. And that's it. Just one more quick measurement. We'll get the resistance on the potentiometer when we're running at 10 volts. 10 volts, 54 milliamps. Shut down the engine, flick this one over to ohms, and we get 184 ohms. So there you have that. Put it back on voltage. Now just to keep us honest, I'll dial this thing up to the max. There we are. Just shy of 19 volts and 18 and a half milliamps. Shut the engine down. Measure the resistance of the pot. And just over 1k ohms. Now you guys can do the math on your own. Okay, we're back. We're just approaching operating pressure again. I have hooked up the generator with the half-wave bridge rectifier now. The potentiometer is set back to a thousand ohms and once more we're measuring voltage on the left and DC milliamps on the right. So let's open up the motor and see what we get. Fourteen and a half volts and about 14 and a half milliamps and that's at a thousand ohms resistance I am slowly going to start dialing down the potentiometer now to zero one turn two turns 
three turns, or we should be somewhere near 500 ohms right now. And we're reading 13 volts, 26 milliamps. Okay, continuing down to zero ohms resistance now. I'm going to have to change the scale on my meter. We're now measuring fractions of an amp. So this should be 200, uh, well this should be two tenths of an amp now we're registering. The potentiometer is now at zero ohms. And we're measuring, uh, should be 300 milliamps. Think. Three tenths of an amp. Now I'm going to dial back up to ten volts and check the resistance. Ten volts, six one hundredths of an amp. Yeah. Fifty nine milliamps. Is that left meter back up to ten volts? Okay, shut down the motor. And check our resistance. 194 ohms. So at 194 ohms, we produce 10 volts and can draw 54 milliamps. And that's with a Jensen Model 20 operating at about 20 psi.